So hello students and welcome again to today's lesson. My name is Mr. Mesha Ngigi and welcome to eMath with Ngigi. And remember to subscribe, share and also comment how these lessons are being helpful to you. And now we continue with our next revision. Today we are going to be checking expansion of the functions of our trigonometric functions. That is the cos of n theta and the sine of n theta. So we have this question here and uh, let's check the solution for, for this. Now we know something from the De Moivre's theorem that cos of n theta plus j sine of n theta can also be written as cos of n plus j sine of n then uh, sine of theta sorry theta and theta here then your n will be there because generally our De, uh, our De Moivre's theorem just states that if you have r then theta then you have your uh, you have your n power, this just implies r, you power the r, then you multiply your theta with n, right? So this n powers the r, then we have it multiplied with the, with the theta. So therefore, if we have this, if we have this part, now the whole of this part is just represented by this angle here, right? Together, that is, an, um, that is in polar form. So we have this, so it is just represented by the whole, the whole of this represent, is represented by this. So therefore, if I multiply, if I power this part here, I'll just multiply the theta here with the n. So theta n, theta n should just give us this side of the solution. So therefore, we can use the same to expand our function that appears in this form. That is, so if you have a function, so you just use this. Now this value here will always represent your what? Will always represent your n. Okay, so by the end of the day, this n here, so if I was to replace n uh, here, what should be our value here? To just be, to just be 3. Are we together? So cos of theta plus j sin theta, then we have about a power of 3. So therefore, uh, so you can say cos of 3 theta plus j sin of uh, 3 theta is just the same as saying cos of theta plus j sin of theta, then you power power that. Now from this point we shall let so we shall just represent our cos of theta with a c and sine of theta without with an s. So the right hand side will be the right hand side and say the right hand side will be given by c plus j s then you do what you do you keep that function right so we shall expand this function as a binomial expansion at the end of the day. So we shall expand it binomial because we have uh, we have two uh, two variables here and uh, we expand it using binomial. So how do we expand c plus j s? Then we have cubed. How do we expand that? It should be given by. So you know how to expand binomially. So then we start with this power being the highest power. So we shall have c to power three. Then j s is to power zero. And anything to power zero is a to the power 0 is 1. Then plus, drop the power, reduce the power by 1, then introduce the second uh, variable, which will now be j s, right? Then plus, drop the power again, so you drop, so you have, so you have 3, so then becomes 2, sorry, so you'll have 2, so you drop the power, reduce the power by 1, okay? Then you shall have, now drop the power, so you shall have 3, then drop 2, reduce the power of this one by 1, then you shall have js, you increase this power by 1. So here, remember here, the js was to power 0, to power 1, to power 2. Our 3 here, our c here is 3, uh, c to power 3, c to power 2, c to power 1. So the c reduces in power as js increases in power. Then this one will be about our 2 factorial. And the last one will be, uh, we should have 3, 2, so our power here is 1, drop 1. So now we have c to power 0, and anything to power 0 is 1. So you should just remain with js, then cubed, then all over 3 factorial. Alright? Now, uh, simplifying this, we shall have, so equals to c cubed. So in the second part, we shall just have plus 3c, and we shall have js. Then we shall have, uh, now, we have 
3 times 2, which gives us 6, then divide by 2. 6 divided by 2 will give you what? We just cancel that with that, which gives you plus 3. Plus 3. Oh, this one is C squared. Sorry. So plus 3, then C. Then our J will be squared, our S will be squared, because our power applies to everything inside the bracket. Then here we have 3 factorial. 3 factorial is given by 3 times 2 times 1. And we have and the numerator we have 3 times 2 times 1. So the factorial here will cancel with everything in the GI in the numerator, which will have therefore shall remain j cubed, then s what? Shall remain j cubed and s cubed. But you know something from uh, the powers of j that we checked in complex numbers. J, uh, j remains to be j. j squared is given by what? Negative of negative of 1. What about the j cubed? It will be given by negative of j. So therefore, with this shall simplify to become cubed plus 3c squared js. So we shall have that. Then plus, now j squared is negative 1. So this one will be replaced with negative 1. So this time here will be negative of 3c, then s, and squared. So our negative 1, we just uh, insert it here. Then this one will be given by negative j. Then we have s what? We shall have s. We shall have s cubed. So now we collect real terms and imaginary terms together. So real terms are terms that do not contain a j. And imaginary parts are the ones that have a j. So this and this will be a real term. So therefore it will be c cubed minus 3cs squared. Then the imaginary part will have plus 3c squared s. Then minus j, uh, so we put the j outside. So S cube, then you can put these two together, then you put a J there. So you have taken this part and this part together, and this part and this part together. So for our expansion for the cosine function, the cosine function will always belong to the real part. So we shall equate the real part in our know, function here uh, and we'll put it in terms of cosine. So therefore, our cos of 3 theta, our cos of 3 theta will be given by c cubed minus 3 c s squared. So you equate it to the real part. So this part will be equated to the real part here. Alright? Then, if you we were to find the sine, for example, if you we were to find the sine of 3 theta by the end of the day, we will just take the imaginary part because sine belongs to the imaginary, this one belongs to the real part. So you shall have, so the sine of 3 theta will be given by c uh, squared s minus s minus s cubed. All right, together. But now, by the end of the day, so if you're finding the cos of 3 theta, every term here should be in terms of cosine, right? Every term should be in terms of cosine. So this one again is the same now, replacing this with the c, c with the cos, so we shall have cos uh, 3 theta minus 3 cos of theta uh, then sine of square theta. So our c is this part, then 3 we have 3, then we have c which is our cos, then we have sine squared and we have this. But notice something here, we have a sine. So we have to remove this sine and equate it to be a cos. So we know, we know from trigonometry that, so nb, uh, cos square theta plus sine square theta equals to 1, right? So we can express sine square theta in terms of the cosine. So we can take this to this other side. Therefore, sine square theta will be given by 1 minus cos square theta. So when we have a sine square theta here, we shall replace with this term that has a cos. So therefore we shall have, so the cosine of 3 theta will be given by, right? It will be given by, so cos cube theta, cos cube theta, then minus 3, then you have cos of theta, then where you have your sine, replace with this. We have sine squared theta replaced with this. So 1 minus cos squared cos squared theta. So basically this will give you cos cube theta, right? So this multiplied by 1, so minus 3 cos theta. The negative and negative gives you a positive. We have 3. Then you have a cos and you have two cosses here, so you shall have cos cubed theta. So what do we have in common here? We have a cubed here, a cubed theta and a cubed theta. So this one is 1, this one is 3. 
So one of it and a three gives you four. So four cos cubed theta minus three cos of cos theta. And this would be your expansion for the cosine of three theta. So you can uh, now try, you can try to do the sine of three theta. So for the sine of three theta, we can see we have three cos squared uh, sine, then we have minus sine cubed. So where we have a cos here, we shall replace with only the sine function and we shall get the expansion for the sine of three 